Equifax drama unfolds, and here to talk about it is technology lawyer Mark Grossman. Welcome. Uh, thank you. So what's the significance of what's going on with Equifax right now? From the financial perspective of Equifax, this is an unmitigated disaster. As things unfold, it only gets worse. Right now, as of now, we're looking at about $6 billion in estimated loss of market cap. We're looking at damages of in excess of $20 billion the lawsuits begin to fly, when the fines begin to fly. And that $20 billion number that comes from Gartner Group and is based on an IBM methodology, we are looking at horrific numbers. What do you think is next for Equifax? <laughs> Regulatory investigations. We have possible insider trading issues. I think the lawsuits going to begin to fly, insurance companies, subrogation actions, consumers, state attorneys general, FTC, all sorts of lawsuits, all sorts of regulatory stuff, and let's not forget a congressional investigation. This is ugly and is going to get uglier. What's the worst that Equifax is facing right now? Bankruptcy. I, I, I mean, the estimated damages exceed the value of the company. And if it's not a bankruptcy, it's a takeover, a sale. I mean, Equifax as we know it, I don't think is going to predict or survive this debacle. You mentioned stock plunge. Uh, today it's plunging again. And um, analysts say that the blame is Equifax's response to the whole issue, to the data breach. What do you think they did wrong? What would you do if you ran Equifax? If Tylenol is the case study in how to do it, this is the case study in how not to do it. When this happened, within hours, I tweeted, the facts are unfolding and they're going to get worse, I guarantee it. Guess what? The facts are still unfolding, it's getting worse. I guess if we were to just, the iceberg kind of point would be, they have to disclose everything, not allow the flat facts to appear one by one, day by day in the press. Is it we're just learning now that there was another breach not too long ago that was completely undisclosed? That should have been disclosed on day one. It's move, bad moves like that. Why don't they have the most high-priced PR company that specializes in crisis PR running this competently? This seems to be as if it's being run by amateurs, and it's really being done badly. Thank you so much. Thank you. My guest was Mark Grossman. He's a technology lawyer. I'm Alexander Michalska and this is Reuters.